It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Raiders and the Bears. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. They say summer is the time to live in Chicago. Well, that's extended into autumn as we are ready to roll under blue skies at Soldier Field. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Chicago Bears. Brandon Gordon joined, as always, by Charles Davis and Charles the Bears try to piece things back together after a tough three and 14 campaign but they've got one guy they can build around though and that's justin fields and he is quite the talent and they're trying to build around him indeed because they've added pieces in free agency added pieces in the nfl draft they want to get away from him having to use his legs as much as he did in 2022 they want to be able to throw the ball and move the ball downfield that way as well and then for the Raiders, this is a tough team to figure out. They stumbled home to a 6-11 finish last year. But you say if they want to turn things around, it has to start on the defensive end. It certainly does. And while they've had some dynamic pass rushers along the way, they've needed more, and they've added them now in free agency and the draft, as well as some new faces on the back end to help shut down people throwing the football. Here's the former Auburn kicker, Daniel Carlson, to get this one started. And off we go from Soldier Field. This taken in right around the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So here come the Bears to take over on offense behind their third-year quarterback, former Ohio State Buckeye Charles, Justin Fields. We all knew Fields was an incredible athlete coming out of college. And last season, he unleashed it upon the NFL ran for over 1,100 yards, and would have broken the quarterback's single-season record if he had played the full season. He also threw 17 touchdown passes, and that's the next jump for him. More consistency as a passer. Field's gonna throw right away. There's a short throw, it's caught by Komet. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's gonna bring up second down. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. A man who led the league in yards per carry last year, it's Khalil Herbert. And this will be a Bears first down as good running gets him to about the 44. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only they're controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels, you know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. We'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Yeah, he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Going quickly out wide to Moore. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's second down. <laughs> to throw his fields. Flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Herbert powering up the middle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Now it's Fields off the bootleg. Closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. Second and goal from inside the five. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? On third and goal, they're going to run the option. That is not going to be any help as they dump it behind the line of scrimmage. A three-yard loss, fourth down now. Well, you know, if you've got the defense laying back, maybe that option works, but if you're coming hard on third down... It doesn't work because you force the hand of the quarterback and the runner too quickly, and most of the time, unsuccessfully. The fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. Santos' kick is up and through, and it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. Well, they moved the ball well there on the opening series. Running game was in sync. They were knocking on the doorstep, but ultimately Charles will have to settle for the field goal. But they certainly were moving it well. Give this defense a ton of credit. Finally dug their heels in and forced the field goal. That's what it is, game partner. Well, let's offense look back at this drive and think to themselves, if we'd gotten six, we'd be in a better spot. field goal out instead is the punter Trenton Gill to kick this away and he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25 yard line the Raiders offense heading out with their new man under center for 2023 the former Patriot former 49er Jimmy Garoppolo is another typical season for Jimmy G last year. When he was out there, he was excellent. Leading the 49ers to seven wins and throwing four times as many touchdowns as interception. Then the injury bug bit again. But Las Vegas, they're counting on him being able to do the exact same thing they saw in San Francisco, but avoiding injury while doing so. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 30-yard line. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here, slow to get up. They need two. Here's third down. Play action. Garoppolo. And that one too wide and incomplete. Third down is a key down in any game you play. Third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on fourth down, here's A.J. Cole to punt for the Raiders. Back deep, Trent Taylor. Pulled in at the 24. It'll be a 41-yard punt. Give them five on the return. And the Bears take over. 
Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Fields. Over the middle, complete. That's more. On first and ten, it's Herbert. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. Down the left sideline, and he gets it all the way down to the three. Over 30 yards there, and first downs on three consecutive plays now. He covered a lot of ground, great blocking, and now they can sniff that end zone. They certainly can, and because of that run, maybe you come back and fake it to him on this play and throw a little play action. Someone should break wide open. Here's Fields. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Marcus Epps just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. Now Fields. That's to Martin. He's got it. Touchdown Bears. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Bears are able to extend their lead. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. That time, a six-play drive, and it concludes with a touchdown reception by D.J. Moore. They kick it away. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10.
On play action, it's Garoppolo. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and 10. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 42. 23 yards to pick up there. But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. play action now Garoppolo now throw right side here going to be incomplete an incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25 looking to throw Garoppolo this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Michael Mayer, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Raiders are back within a score. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So the drive there took six plays. And it was finished off by a Michael Mayer touchdown grab. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Escapes the defender. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Chicago offense set to get started. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. And this will be a Bears first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. Defensively, they were in the 3-4. Solid run up the middle. What made it successful? Well, what you have to do is control the nose guard, but sometimes you don't do it by blocking him. You do it by influencing him. Get him moving to one side or the other and hit him back on the opposite. On first down, Fields. That's complete to Mooney. Will go down as a gain of six. 
And it'll be second down. Here's Travis Homer, the former Miami Hurricane. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. Ten seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Back to throw, Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Now second and three. Here's a give to Herbert. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Could be some contact going on. This is third and one, very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Going on the ground with Homer. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They go quickly here out to Moore. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Field's going to keep it running right. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. A good chunk on the ground on the keeper. 17 yards, first down. That was a good, strong run for a first down. And they are just dominating right now on this drive. They've stayed on the field, which consequently means the opposition's offense can't get out there and score any points. Field's on first down. Locates Mooney on the out route. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Now it's Fields. touchdowns last season only Jalen Hurts had more Santos with the extra point and his guys will take a 10-point lead a 10-play drive that time and it was all capped off by the Justin Fields touchdown run he took it in himself
after the touchdown. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you've just watched your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Our first carry for the all-pro running back, it's Josh Jacobs. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That good for 22 and a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. He's going to wind up and air it out. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Deron Harmon. And the Bears are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, they tried to take their shot right there, but the ball hung up a little too long, and it's intercepted. And when you describe trying to take their shot right there, usually the ball has to be thrown out a little bit more of a line. You just mentioned it. The ball hung up there. The reaction time of the defenders, they win the day and intercept it. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And they have to be pleased with the way that they move the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at the 20. And they'll begin by running the option. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. On second down, a run with Herbert. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race. But how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. Throwing on third down, Fields. This one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A handoff for Herbert. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, 
I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right out and right up the middle. Here's second and three. A give left side here for Herbert. And he gets it down to the 32. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking of the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. And they run the option here on first and 10. Fields, 32 yards. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Well, Charles, he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option, and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game. And that's exactly what you need from your quarterback. The ability to run the ball fearlessly. And in fact, many quarterbacks will tell you running the football doesn't scare them. Standing in the pocket and taking blindside hits, that's what terrifies them. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. touchdown. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And he returns this to the 22. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you gotta have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception, focus on what came before it and get back to it. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll take it ahead to the 28 yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. A good run. Got seven on first. Here's second and three. Throwing now is Garoppolo. That's to the veteran tight end, Austin Hooper. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. Now a play fake, Garoppolo. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Looking for Michael Mayer on the play, and it's second down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And that's going to be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. 
On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Onto the field now come the Bears. Well, everything right now that they touch on this side of the football, it seems to turn to gold. They've scored on three straight possessions. That lead continues to grow. And I mean, if they can get points here, Charles, might almost be an insurmountable comeback for the other side. I think you make a great case for that. So I'm going to flip it over to the other side. Could they make the big comeback? Certainly. Am I expecting it? Not at all. I think if we don't see a drastic change in how they're playing, this blowout's going to get bigger and bigger before the final gun. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. <laughs> On the option right is Fields. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. Pretty good job there defensively of stringing that one out. Yeah, you've got a quarterback who's waiting and waiting for something to develop, and it just never materialized, and down he went behind the line of scrimmage. They'll run with Herbert, and he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They'll run this with Homer. And this will be a Bears first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. to throw his fields. This would complete to Tunyon underneath. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. From the 50, here's Fields. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Here's Fields. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Again, Fields. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 33. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Fields. That is caught by Herbert. 
And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, here's Fields. That'll be caught in St. Brown. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Throwing again is Fields. Targeting more, and he's got him on the crossing pattern. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So this lead, Charles, is continuing to swell here in the first half. Well, it's interesting, when we talked to them prior to the game, they told us that their game plan was take no prisoners, and they've lived up to it so far because everything has worked. No guarantee that'll continue, but all in all, this coaching staff's got to be very pleased by what they've seen. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Bears were given a solid first half by their quarterback, Justin Fields. He accounted for three touchdowns in that first half, one in the air, Two more on the ground, and he's been electrifying to this point. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. are going to have it first and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action from his end zone here comes Carter and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 out comes the Raiders offense they'll go on offense first to start quarter number three and you have to think Charles down three scores already they need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance and that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 22. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. Dances by him and up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 42 yards rushing for him now and just his first three carries. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. 
And showcasing those strong legs on that run, getting through one tackle. Now she winds up getting eight there. From the 43, here's second and two. Once again, it's Jacobs. Shoves him aside, and now past another. And he gets us to the other side of midfield, across the 45 before going out. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. The contact on that run came pretty early. Nice job just to push forward and get some extra yardage. Good game. It certainly was because the initial contact did not signal the end of the play. His mind, his body, his legs said keep turning forward, and he gained more yardage. Garoppolo throwing complete there to Renfro. Down inside the 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Hunter Renfro, 43 yards, and the Raiders get a bit closer. Great corner out there, not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Carlson on for the PAT. He's got it, and the score's now 27-14. A drive there of just four plays. And it was Hunter Renfro who capped things off with a touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. We got to go out there and get some more points. On first and 10, here's Fields. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. Fields. Complete to Mooney on the slam. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. 11 yards for number 11. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off and now a throw on first down there but it's incomplete defensively celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion he was perfect throwing the ball to that point yeah but from his viewpoint they didn't force the incompletion he just missed that's how hot he is right now and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball fields now to throw that's complete right side to commit. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 39. A good pick up there, 22. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. So again from the 39, this time from the other side of the field. Here's first and 10. On the option left is Fields. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, 
most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Back to throw, Fields. And the Raiders have got him. Tyree Wilson using that athletic ability to make the play. And they visited the end zone frequently in this one, and obviously they wanted another one. But give credit to the defense there. They may not make the comeback, but pride showed good sack on that play. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Look to the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 23. Able to convert on third and 14, a terrific play call. Fields on first down. And it's caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Herbert will take it in. Touchdown, Bears. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You have three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Matt Eberflew is going to keep his offense on the field. They're going for two. They'll try and run it here. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. So they kept it on the ground, got it into the end zone. And Charles, sometimes you probably see teams treat a two-point conversion differently than if it was first and goal from the two, or I should say third and goal from the two. I agree with you totally on that. A lot of teams treat it as if they have farther to go and shy away from running the football. I think this is a great spot to do it because most teams play you for the pass. Go ahead and run and let your linemen surge and fire out. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Second and 10. Now Garoppolo. Caught on the right side by Adams. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. straight ahead is Jacobs. And now off 
to the races down the right side. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 81 yards on the ground here for Jacobs. So this is a first down. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack. And they can also get downfield and catch the football. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 33, here's second down and two. Here's Garoppolo to throw. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now a play fake, Garoppolo. Open man, that's Renfro. He'll head out of bounds inside the 10, mark him down at the nine. 18 yards there and it'll be a first and goal. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And he's got it. Touchdown. Josh Jacobs. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders are able to cut into that deficit. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot, up two scores here in the third quarter. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking middle and it's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. On second down, here's the option. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's third and seven. Here's Fields. He'll fire deep, looking for more. This is caught inside the 15. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Another big play right there, and this is where, as an offense, you've 
you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. Herbert now on the option. He gets this down to the three, but no further. Brought the power run out of the bag and got a couple extra yards with it. 102 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. He'll try again. Pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown. Second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Bears have moved out in front by three touchdowns. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Santos with the extra point and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. To the touchdown. Here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And now here come the Raiders. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. It's caught here by Adams. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give them 12 yards that time and a Las Vegas first. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. He hits Adams complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Over 30 yards there. And first downs on three consecutive plays now. Now look, you're not going to be able to get this all back at once, but that certainly helps. So you're saying three yards in a cloud of dust, not the strategy? I go aerial attack. Yeah, I think that's what has to happen. And if you're going to run it, you need to break off big chunks. We just saw a big play right there. They need plenty of those. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Jacob's going to try the middle. A solid stiff arm. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 
15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person that's on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time, and that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and bunching, and there's another first down run right there. Jacobs will score. Touchdown, Raiders. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in, and he carries it across the goal line. Carlson now to add the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. Meanwhile, field slow there, complete to Mooney. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. That is caught. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That'll put him over 150 yards receiving now. Quite a ball game and a first down. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people have pointed out to me, this is a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Now a first down throw, Fields. There's a short throw, it's caught by Komet. 
And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. So that run play nullified by the holding call of the tight end. Yeah, I just think he needs to get off the ball a lot quicker and get into the block a little bit more effectively. Then he doesn't have to reach and grab and try and hold on. Herbert powering up the middle. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. They're bringing us about right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Now Fields. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. No fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. This to make it a three-score game late. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But, you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. Instead is the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick this away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Garoppolo now, first down throw. And that's complete to Adams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Caught by Mayer. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. Time running short here in the fourth quarter. You're down three scores. And I think you've got a defense here saying, we just need to prevent the home run. So a good, smart offensive coordinator can use that as an advantage. And that's a nice throw there to pick up the first down. Garoppolo on first down. Throw out wide is incomplete. Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. To the sideline and incomplete. For Michael Mayer, his intended receiver. But now it'll be third down. To throw is Garoppolo. Oh, he had him, 
He was hoping, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that will send it back to the drawing board. Now a second and 10. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Garoppolo. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. That'll give them eight that time, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A nice carry by Jacobs, who was coming off a career year. Just when it seemed like Vegas may have been ready to move on from him. Led the NFL with over 1,600 yards and was more than deserving of his first All-Pro selection. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Josh Jacobs, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. the touchdown ready to kick it away is Carlson Scott on the return out of the end zone and that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20 
We switch the attention now to Khalil Herbert as this offense comes out for their next drive. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called because he doesn't feel like there's going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That time they pick up a 24 yards on the keeper. First down. First play of the drive. Excellent run. Just sets up wash, rinse, repeat. Another first down. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Read option. Here's Herbert. And this will be a Bears first down as the tackle made at about the 43-yard line. Brandon, every great running backs coach that I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. And when the defense wins and gives up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Herbert once more. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Now it's Fields. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 30 yards there. And, of course, the first down as well. Frankly, I don't know that this defense knows what to do anymore. Just look at their body language out there. The passing game has absolutely been relentless throughout. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. To throw his fields. Got his tight end, that's complete. It's Lewis. And he'll be taken down after a gain of about eight as that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Here's a give to Herbert. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll run here with Herbert. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Khalil Herbert taking it in from a yard out. And the Bears are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. And that right there is the definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line. And here, they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17.
Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Raiders have the ball back, and here comes Devontae Adams to the field again. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. On first down, Garoppolo. That ball was tipped in the air and while it ultimately fell incomplete, it caused a few anxious moments for the guy slinging it who's had quite a day. He knows how to get it into the end zone. He's throwing it really, really well. And maybe Lady Luck is on his side because he avoided his first interception of the contest. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Garoppolo looks to throw. That's caught by Myers. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Garoppolo again. Same target, it's Jacobs again. Now the Raiders gonna go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Third and three. Now Garoppolo. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? So the fourth down conversion has him inside the 40 now, first and 10. On play action, it's Garoppolo. Looking deep for Adams. And this is caught. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. There's Garoppolo to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Devontae Adams from three yards out. And the Raiders are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. 
I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hands team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Fields down to a knee here, and that should just about put a ball on this one. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.